Hi everyone, today I'm going to try a sample perfume that I got and this one is Angels Also oh Crave from Thierry Mugler. So I haven't opened this one yet, but it's very cute. I'm gonna open this one with you. It's like a candy. Reminds me of a candy. So this one came out 2017. There are so many sweet notes in this perfume. The one that got me is the meringue, there's caramel, there's vanilla, and sorbet. So I could tell that over load of sweetness in this perfume so let's open it so this is the wrapper so let's try it sweet like candy really like candy to me i'm getting the cherries no not cherries but berries Reminds me of those red sweet candy, a little bitter. But this one, it turns into something odd. It's like salty. Maybe it's the caramel. I'm gonna try this one on my skin though. So I haven't smelled this one before. This is like a first impression. So opening it is like, uh, there's a citrusy notes in there which you could get in the opening. And then there is like a sweet yet salty, quite strange smell though it's not what i expected i thought it's gonna be creamy and sweet but this one citrusy and sour in the opening so i guess it has the citrus and the berry notes in it and turn into something um salty so maybe it's the caramel it's not your sweet caramel but it's like a salty caramel and there's something a little spicy on the opening i don't know if you call that spicy but it's like like a mint it's like that candy with like a, a red candy which is a berry or cherry sweet candy with a little bit of menthol in it it's a little like that in the opening like a newly unwrapped candy where you could still smell the wrapper in it it's quite a strange scent though so notes are promising it has caramel vanilla meringue the sorbet so it it really sounds delicious but i don't find this one delicious at all so it's it's not even that sweet so by the notes if you're worried that this could be overly sweet well it isn't so i'm gonna wait until it dries down and see if there might be a nice twist to it though there is a note that i don't like that kind of linger the whole time i'm not sure in the notes there is patchouli though in the dry down but I'm not a fan of patchouli, but this seems not like the kind of patchouli that I always smell in other perfumes. So I'm not sure what it is. So it's now been two hours since I wore this perfume and I am now in a dry down, I believe. Before that, it smells like popcorn that is a salted caramel flavor. So the caramel in this perfume smells like that to me. So now I can get the vanilla in this perfume, but it is skin scent. It's almost... It's very faint already, but compared to the first few hours that I wore this one, it is now quite um, a decent, quite enjoyable scent. It's a nice vanilla chocolate scent. I'm not sure if there's a caramel. I don't get the caramel anymore. I mean, the sweet caramel. I was getting the salty caramel. So this one, I will say, is just a vanilla skin scent perfume. It's quite nice though, but for me, um, you need to go through all those strange um, scent before you get through this. So now I could appreciate the dry down though, it's great. But it's not enough to make me buy the full bottle. Maybe I'm just gonna pass for now good things or sample. Though I heard that Thierry Mugler perfumes are really quite complex. Not for everyone and not a safe blind buy. So I remember I think I had a sample of the original Angel long time ago. But until now I can't figure out whether I like it or not. Though I wanna give it another try. So that's my first impression for Moogler's Angel Also Cray. So the longevity, I will put that in the description box. So it's just been two to three hours since I'm wearing the perfume. So I want to wait, give it more time and see. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.